The frisbee, little disc that we see flying through the air all the time. We run around and throw them to each other and watch them soar through the air. You might be surprised on how they came to be or even how long ago they came to be. The very beginning of the story starts in 1871. It didn't start out with the plastic round disc we all know of today. Surprisingly, it started out with pies, pies that we eat. William Frisbee, spelled I-E, which is a bit different than the spelling E-E that we know of today, starts his Frisbee Pie Company in Bridgeport, Connecticut. The story begins to shift when the empty pie tins would be thrown around by nearby students and they would yell Frisbee. This simple fun created by students is an early version of what we know now. We fast forward to 1948 when partners Walter Frederick Morrison and Warren Francione create the Flying Saucer, essentially just a plastic version of what these flying discs from the pie tins were. The partners eventually split, and Morrison sells to the toy company Whammo with the temporary name Pluto Platter. Whammo first releases these in 1957. Just one year later, the name that we know of today, Frisbee with the EE spelling, comes about. However, the modern design with the added ridges did not come about until 1967. This same year, students in New Jersey create the game Ultimate Frisbee. Ultimate Frisbee is a combination of three already known games, football, soccer, and basketball. A few years later, another Frisbee game is invented. This game was called Frisbee Golf. Frisbee Golf is where the discs are thrown into metal baskets on courses, and this is a widely known game today. Along with these two, we have the game Freestyle Frisbee, where choreographed dances are now brought into play. The Frisbee is bought in 1994. The Frisbee is bought by Mattel Toy Company, and this is the company who owns the Frisbee today. However, the Frisbee is still sold and manufactured by a large number of manufacturing companies today. The Frisbee, which started with pie and simple fun, turns in to the widely known game and fun that we know today.